Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This video, I'll be showing you all how to do targeted jumps like this. So basically, if you do a normal jump, it shouldn't do anything. But let's say you want to jump to a specific target, like over there, the character will perfectly jump. Even let's say you're facing a little bit offset, it should still work. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video also it is highly customizable let's say if i want to change the points you can just click on the jump target and adjust the landing point let's say if i keep it somewhere way ahead the character will still react so yeah it's a really cool video you can use this for many other uh, purposes as well not just jumping for ledging, vaulting, many more. So, also do let me know in the comments what you would like to see next in my animation series. I'm trying to make videos which are not easily findable, if you know what I mean. But yeah, let's dive right into the video. So, let's begin. First off, we need to enable the motion warping plugin. So make sure you have this plugin turned on. All right. Next thing, what we do is after turning on the plugin, is open up your third person character or your character blueprint, and just add the motion one. All right. So once that's done, uh, so for this video, I'll be using this animation. So it comes with the third person uh, template. So you might also have that. Though there is some limitations with this. Uh, I'll explain that since it is not a vertical. To fix that, uh, inside your sequence, just click on the root. Somewhere along the midpoint, you can just bring it a bit higher and add a key. So add a key at the start and somewhere around here, I'll just add one more key. So you have this and when it comes to the end, we'll make that zero again. So, so you have something like this. All right. So now that we have that, uh, go ahead and create an animontage for it. Let's name it montage underscore targeted jump. Cool. All right. So oh, what we want to do is uh, achieve here is let's say I'll just create a quick parkour level to so we can just add say why not that cube so what we want to do is let's say if a player jumps normally it should do a normal jump but from edges we want the player to jump directly to that edge like how some perfect examples are games like god of war assassin's creed and they do those pole jumps how it's perfectly transitioned so yeah so let's do that so for this open up your third person character and let's create a variable boolean uh, and name this can jump to target compile it and from your jump node create a branch and connect can jump to target to condition if it's false the target will jump or else create a custom event 
let's name this targeted jump if it's true call that all right and this will be a simple play montage one which we created all right simple enough nothing to complicate it till here so now next thing what we want to do is create an actor blueprint so i'm create doing this via actor so it gives us a little bit more control and name this bp underscore jump target open it up go ahead create a box collision increase the size next thing i want to create an arrow component to it and name this landing point go ahead and move it a little bit ahead scale it the wrong way all right now let's open up the event graph from box just add an event for begin overlap connect this with the third person character and let's call can jump to target set that to true so, and same thing you want to do is call on end overlap just copy this entire thing connect the executive pins and the object to other right this time make this false all right let's just test if it works place it no need to do anything with the arrow now we're just testing it so normal jump is perfect if i come here and jump all right so now next thing we want to do is make sure the character jumps to the target here is where our motion warping comes to play so open up your montage and somewhere let's say when the player is beginning to descend i'm going to add right click on your notify and add a notify state that is motion warping and this will be until he lands somewhere over here all right now click on that inside your details panel open root motion modifier warp target name and name this as landing point also we are going to ignore warp rotation we're going to deselect this i'll tell you why soon save that now inside your jump target and begin overlap just drag your third person character pin and type add or update work target this thing right click on work target and split the pin for target name make sure you have the exact name as you mentioned in your montage copy paste that for location drag in your landing point get world location and connect that all right let's test that now in my level if from my details if i select the landing point and let's just put it over here now let's see how it works so jump normal that's fine from here all right working fine one thing you notice is the character it's getting stuck here 
what we can do is probably keep the landing point a little bit ahead let's see what happens then so you'll have to play with it a bit but you get more control this way and yeah there you go so so now but there will be a problem i'll show you what so let's say if i'm facing this way and jump see that looks very weird it's even with the rotation on let's say we have our rotation on from here but that will only work when the player reaches this point so it will again look very weird so what do we do let's go ahead and fix that so open up your third person character and what i want to do is add a new variable and this will be our this will be an actor jump target actor the type will be bp underscore jump target object reference compile and over here after i just make some space after you're done add or update walk target drag in from the third person tag again set jump target actor we need this and for the reference we'll take a self reference cool and over here we'll set jump target actor and we won't have any reference so it makes it not all right next open up your third person character inside the custom event before we play the montage what we will set the rotation so take in your jump target actor right click convert to validated get so you don't get any funny errors if it's valid get landing point from that get world rotation and we'll do a set actor rotation target will be self connect that to the connect the value and yeah let's test that now so let's say i'm looking here yes perfect as you can see now let's just test its limits let's say i have something over here let's put it on a height above and see actually i haven't tested it myself how that will work i'm pretty sure it won't work but who cares anyways let's just test it anyways that's the main fun of game development you get to try out bugs before so let's test that so if i jump as you can see it didn't work it will work if it is below let's say like some more like this then it usually works even if you have the distance quite ahead it shouldn't have any trouble let's say somewhat something like this so let's try as you can see it works perfect so yeah i think you can use this for many ways for ledge climbing for vaulting and other purpose so yeah i think that's it for this tutorial make sure to comment subscribe let me what you need for the next series anything else so yeah thanks a lot